Hello, 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 my Gemini. It's your girl, Empress Cheryl. So, we will do the Gemini reading for September 2022. See what's going on this month for you. Like the overall energy, love and romance, as well as um, business, career, finances. Um, this reading is for individuals who resonate with the sign of Gemini being their uh sun sign moon sign rising sign venus or north node so let's just kind of get into it the cards are already selected um so let's see what we have oh do not forget to like the video share the video comment on the video subscribe to the channel all that beautiful stuff to help the channel grow so overall energy Okay, y'all starting off strong with this number 34, great power, self-worth, and then number one, Michael, protection. Okay, Gemini. So, let me just say, like, you, you know, for the month of September, Gemini, you are standing in your power. You are covered, you are protected, you understand your worth, you understand who you are, like you are confident. You you on your game, like, you know what I'm saying? You have influence, like dignity, like people are really like looking at you like you're that person, okay? And it's a beautiful thing, so... Gemini, you are in your power. So like, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say about that. You in your power and it's like you understand. It's not just that you are. It's, it's not just that you, you know, like understand that you are a powerful person. It's like others see it as well it's like it's not just a one-sided thing like i'm getting like much respect here uh but for this protection card to come out like i, I, I don't know if others are going to be throwing things your way hate or whatever the, the case may be but i mean you are protected um so go ahead and you know continue forward with, with whatever you're doing um continue doing it because you are definitely protected um, in what it is that you are doing. Okay. So let's get into, that's the overall energy. Let's get into love and romance. Uh, we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. We have number 18, which is sun energy, clarity, and, um, citrine is the crystal. And then we have number 36, the flower of life which I believe that number 36 is referring to um, abundance. Let's see. Language of light is what um, this card is all about. Um, it's the flower of life. It says, the flower of life is an Akashic information system, meaning it contains records of all that was, all that is, and all that will be. The messages it offers are both intimately personal and universal. Open your awareness to the knowledge contained herein and listen to the responses you receive. Um, as a blueprint for all creation, the flower of life will always have something new to teach you. Okay, so... What I'm getting is in regards to your um, connection and your love life, like maybe there is some type of connection that you are, I'm getting your learning things from. And, and like maybe you, maybe in your connection with this person, you're able to like heal and maybe forgive some things that have happened, you know, in previous connections, forgive other people, forgive yourself, like whatever the case may be, but it's like a energy of you embracing the ability to learn. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And you being clear, like with this clarity card here, it's like you're receiving insight and 
in regards to love. So maybe you're receiving insight in regards to like how you have been in previous connections or something like that. Um, and it's just like, it clicks for you is I'm, I'm getting more so of like a aha moment because you are, you are receptive to whatever information is coming in for you and it's helping you it's it's benefiting you because it's leading you to clarity and success in regards to your connection like you know what i'm saying like information is is flowing into you and i'm getting maybe this is in regards to like where you want to be or where you were supposed to be all along or you know something um in regards to that okay so it's like you're at a point where you are, um, and I'm definitely feeling like this is, this is guided. This is definitely some type of spiritual thing that's, that's, you know, at the point where it's like, you're actually being guided to, so the thought I just got was learn this lesson. Um, well, I mean, learn. So <laughs> it could be, maybe there was some type of lesson that, you know, needed to come about that you needed to learn. And maybe you just finally get it this month. So, I mean, definitely beautiful energy for this sun card to come out. But I mean, I'm also, I'm, I'm definitely getting that this is focused on, it's like you're coming to re realization about some past ways for the Akashic records to come up and for this, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I'm definitely getting like, you know, once you get into, I'm hearing vulnerable, like once you get into a more vulnerable state of actually understanding where you, where you may have went wrong, then that's when you start to see success. That's when it's like, you, I'm just getting this definitely this aha moment in regards to love for you. And it's like, you get it and you push forward. Okay. And you know, beautiful love is brought into your life or, it, you know, is in there or whatever. So, um, career business finances, we have the chameleon stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. We have lady luck with the luck card here and the artist venus with i create my vision this is beautiful so with this stay in the background and this luck here so i'm honestly getting like things are going to be working out for you like you're not going to have such an active stance in making things come together you know i was like in, in putting all of this work into your career all this work into your business it's kind of like things are going to be falling in place for you that's the energy that i'm getting here with this um luck car and this stay in the background and adapt to the situation it's like things are going to be happen happening changes are going to occur and next thing you know you're going to be right where you want it to be you know that's that's kind of like the energy behind it and and with this i create my vision it's like maybe you have been and with this visionary and imaginative it's like maybe you have been thinking about it maybe you're in like a big manifestation energy or you have been manifesting so it's like now it's actually coming to fruition but it's like you're not it's it's kind of like you're at the point now where you've already done what you needed to do so now you're just watching it come together which is very beautiful very beautiful so yeah definitely a good i mean overall this looks like a, a beautiful month for you gemini so much love to you take care and be sure to have a jazzy day